Hi guys, it's me Penishead with another video review. This time a little bit different as usual, but let me explain. I got the new Sonic Wear 11 Lo-Fi 12 sampling groove box for review. I had it here quite a while now and uh, in the meantime there were so many great YouTube video reviews released on YouTube, you know, that I decided to make something else for this video. It is not a classical review or hands-on, it's just more entertaining and I pick some special topics or interesting things that are important to understand this Lo-Fi 12. So have fun with the video, if you have questions about the Lo-Fi just write in the comments down below and don't forget to bookmark my channel. Thanks a lot, by your Penis Head. Just one more thing, you want to listen to some music of Penis Head? myself uh, in the web you can i have two eps out there at the moment uh, the one ep is called feel the bongo and the actual ep is called fiki fiki boom boom so just look at apple music or spotify you will find it just search for penis head
So let's start with a short run on the LoFi 12. We have 128 samples inside the LoFi, and each sample can have maximum 4 seconds and 12 kilohertz and 2 seconds in 24 kilohertz. In total we have 512 seconds, that means 8.5 minutes for 12 kilohertz in the quality, in the better quality, 12 bit, kilo, uh, 12 bit quality, and in the best quality we have just about 4 to 5 minutes. And as I told, for every sample you have 4 seconds time. Not uh, sometimes in the shops you can read uh, there are only 4 samples in the box, so uh, this gear has 128 spaces for each 4 seconds. Not only 4 samples, not only 4 seconds. In total it has, as I told, 512 s seconds or the half if you make high quality sound. You have four tracks, one, two, three, four. And on each track you have your sample. Let's do it like this. That's chromatic playing. Okay. You have to use off on the shift and the function knobs here. The shift is just for the rotaries knobs and the function is for all the other keys. You can read the secondary function down below, below the keys. You have maximum 64 steps. You can define it if you use the function and you just click the length and so you can define the length of your track. Each track can have individual length. You can switch off the internal speaker by pressing function and then you use this symbol and its speaker is on and now speaker is off. You can adjust the headphone out by pressing function and use the gain knob and then you can make from a low, mid to high output. You have 10 times polyphony so you can use 10 notes at once. That's the maximum. Sometimes it's important to use the internal metronome. You can activate it by function metro. Then you have to activate the volume. And now it's easy to play. We have different filter methods in this um, Lo-Fi 12, I will show you shortly. We now have low pass. Let's switch through the different kinds. It's all without resonance. Let's add resonance by clicking shift and use the same cutoff.
does also a nice effect section inside. So let's check it out. We now have delay. Distortion. Yeah. It sounds like a bit crusher. Next one is distortion. Yeah, it was it was a bit crusher. <laughs> now we have distortion. Yep. Low pass filter. Pass one. An isolator. And we have a tilt EQ. And a tremolo effect. and switch off effect unit and chorus and last but not least we have a flanger sample the voice my voice and I'm using now this gear connected to the line in so and we activate now the sample functionality so we press function and sampling so now you can see the level of my voice and I can lay the overlay on the lo-fi and here's a measurement I have minus 15 dB till the best zero dB. So, and that's now a little bit loud. And I can use the select and the lining. And I adjust the gain. And now you see the LEDs are lowering. So, I can the whole level all right then yeah 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 so we will record now um perhaps i use the metronome yes so let's start all righty then all righty then yeah yeah come on it's saved all righty then all righty then Alrighty then, alrighty then. Alrighty then, alrighty then. Yeah, yeah, come on. Alrighty then. So back to my normal microphone. I can plug out the input. And now I have my sample. Alrighty then, alrighty then. 
So, right. and I'm in edit mode for this sample. All right, it damn. All right, all right, it all right, it damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come Start. On, yeah. All right, it all right, it all right. All right, it all right, it damn. All right, it all right, it damn. All right, it damn. All right, it damn. Pitch. All right, all right, it damn. Level. All right, all right, all right, it damn. Reverse. Yeah. All right, it damn. You can define a loop. All right, it damn. All right. All right, all right, it damn. All right, all right, it damn. Attack and release. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, great. And just some words to the connections. We have sync in, sync out, MIDI in, MIDI out, line in for recording. That's a stereo input and output also in stereo and a headphone check. That's all. And yeah, the power plug here.